Collect rocks. And make mud. We need to block the entrance of this cave. A few of you must go bring water. Maximilian! Tell Mika, can you hear me? Diocletian has instructed us to block the entrance of the cave. Hey, can you hear my voice? or you'll be buried alive in there. Start blocking the cave. Faster. 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 Help him. Why are you just standing there? I'm talking to you. Get it's going. Well. Faster. Faster, faster. Go help him. Go help him. Give it to him. That over there. Travius, three guards must stay here. Let's go. Let's go. Get going. You stay right here. The rest of you, descend the mountain. Pull harder, pull hard! All right, that's good enough. Come here. Put yourself to use. Make sure it's sturdy. You will stay here for three months. Don't stand idle. You, come over here. Seems that their god is mightier than our god, since no one could reach them. Nobody could bring himself to go inside the cave. And I'm certain that it was God who protected them. Yes, yes. They are saints. Diocletian will never get his hands on them. I wish we could rescue them. That's not a problem. All we need is to put some effort into it. Do not take it so lightly, brothers. Understand. It is not so easy. Just Do you know what happened? They could not arrest them. Thank God. What? 
Oh, oh Christ, son, son of Mary, of Mary keep, them keep them safe. Urquhart, you haven't eaten anything since yesterday. You fall sick if you go on like this. So you see, my lady, he will not eat like you. Akimit, <coughs> why won't you eat? Will I die if I do not eat for a few days? I do not know. Why are you asking this question? My father has not eaten for more than ten days. <laughs> Even if we cry for the rest of our lives, it is still too little. But crying is not the solution. What else is there that we can do? You must think to yourselves, what goals did your husbands have? They enjoyed a good social position. And they used it to attain their goals. But there is nothing we can do. You can continue their legacy. Participate in the secret assemblies of your fellow believers and spread your husband's messages to everyone. Lady Helen. Lady Helen. Julius. I have nothing to say to him. Greetings, Lady Helen. Since when do you enter Maximilian's home without permission? Helen. I thought that after Maximilian... Uh... No. I thought that I... could be a good friend to you. But it appears that I am mistaken. Hmm? As usual, you have idiotic and inappropriate thoughts. As a sign of my friendship, and considering the respect I have for Diocletian, I will forget the disrespect you have just shown me. Your hm. greatest gift to us would be for you to die. If you would grant us the gift of your death, we would be overjoyed. Mm -hmm. he would be able to touch Helen's heart after Maximilian. This is a sign of his wickedness. Excuse me, my lady. I have something to say. Tell me, Colus. It is possible. It, it is possible, but it is already too late. But I have decided that I will rescue Maximilian and his friends, no matter what it takes. On your own? Petros and several of our fellow believers will assist me. We will succeed. God willing. It seems you have already made up your mind. What is there left for me to say? Please, pray for us, my lady. Pray for us.
God be with you. Hello, brothers. Petros is here. Greetings to you. Greetings to you. Hello. Welcome, Petros. Hello. Why are you so late? It took us a long time to gather the weapons. All right. Does everyone have a mask? Yes. 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 Well, ten days is not too long a time. They are surely still alive. We will rescue them with the help of God. All right. Bring that stone over here. Everyone pay attention. The mountain is here. And the cave is in the south of the mountain, where three soldiers are standing guard, meaning here, here, and here. The camp of the Roman soldiers is at the foot of the mountain, where several soldiers are standing guard. The Rakim village is to the west. So from this, we can see that the northern section of the mountain is unguarded. But that route is very treacherous and risky. It is a difficult route, but it is certain. If we can succeed in beating the guard in front of the cave, there will be enough time to destroy the stone wall of the entrance and rescue them. The only way we will succeed is for us to remain quiet and calm. Yes, keeping quiet is extremely important. All right. If there is nothing left to discuss, let's get going. Petros, you lead the way. Go, go. must be killed without making any noise. Do not worry. From this point onward, we must move very stealthily and quietly. Are you ready? Yes. Let's go. Let's go.
Wake up! What has happened? They have raided the cave! Light the torches! We're going toward the cave! Hurry up! Faster, faster! Get going! Hurry up! Hurry up! Get going! Move! Hurry up! What are you doing, you dirty scoundrel? Let's go. Yes. Put pressure on it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. 
It'll prevent it from being infected. Don't worry, it'll be all right. It's not too deep. It'll heal quickly. We tried so hard, it did not succeed. I wish we could have saved them. Let me heat the knife again. It's natural, it defense. Petros, what is the matter? I'm sorry. I couldn't save Maximilian. We tried our best. But we didn't succeed. So it is not our fault. But he risked his life to save me. Yes, yes. I remember it well. I will never forget that day. Not a bad fight at all. I love watching gladiators fight. If the amphitheater did not exist, I don't know what I'd do for fun. <laughs> Ah! Uh. 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 Ah!
seen a champion like him. Your Highness, that is courage, not defiance. I will have him tamed. Entrust him to me. But it will teach others to disobey me as well, advisor. Do not worry. I will make a tame lamb out of this wild horse. And then for what? In the end, he will be killed in this very arena. No, Your Highness, dear Cletian. He must instruct hundreds of strong and courageous gladiators. Entrust him to me, and I will give you many gladiators in return. All right. <laughs> his Highness, dear Cletian, has pardoned you. Praise be to His Highness, dear Cletian! Soldier. God. Open the gate. Come out. You must know that. Instructions given by Diocletian are never to be disobeyed. Chain him up. Move. Beat him. He must learn to obey Diocletian's orders. What is your name? 
Petros, your highness. Why didn't you kill that gladiator? Your highness, he was my friend. Hmm. So you know the meaning of friendship? <laughs> I think I have already proven this in the arena. Ah. Do you need another friend? <laughs> to be honest, I'm not worthy of your friendship. Hmm. <laughs> I do not mean myself. I want to introduce you to the greatest and most merciful friend a man could have. Needing him will change your life. And he introduced me to God. Since that day, I see the world in a different light. I have wanted to leave this place many times, but Maximilian wouldn't let me leave. He said, your fellow believers and I need you. But after he left, my world has turned dark and meaningless, and I have no desire to stay anymore. my witness that we did everything that we could do but we did not succeed I knew that you like the others would not be able to get inside that cave if it was possible to enter the cave Diocletian and his soldiers would have done so You would think that they were awake when they were in fact asleep. We turned them to the right side and the left side. belong in the palace, here with your father, not in that cursed house alone. Erkmit likes that house. Erkmit is my grandson, and now that his traitor of a father no longer exists, he must be brought to me. I must teach him about greatness and the art of battle. His father has taught him better things that he will never forget. You are still speaking of that traitor? I hope you are not. It is best that you drop this useless conversation, father. Helen, I will not always be this lenient. 
If it is proven to me that you have also converted to their religion, you'll rue the day you did. It is a nice throne. I will sit in it comfortably one day. Lady Helen. I can tell that your conversation with Diocletian has upset you. You should sit upon that throne in the presence of Diocletian, if you have the courage. Diocletian is a father. He does not know that a beautiful lady needs a husband of the same caliber. More than a large palace. I believed that Maximilian was unworthy of you from the very beginning. <coughs> Watch out from now on, Helen. I will prove that you are a Christian traitor just like your husband. And you must be beheaded. How brave. Huh? He nearly attacked the Emperor in the presence of so many guards. And soldiers. Yes, yes. Did you see how furious the Emperor was? <laughs> No one has ever seen the Emperor ridiculed so entirely by one person. It seems you are very happy. Why shouldn't I be? That was the night that our enemies were defeated. The idol worshippers and their idols were disgraced. And the Christian leaders were banished to the mountain. <laughs> I agree, I agree. Let them kill one another as much as they like. Mm -hmm. It's to our benefit. Yes. <laughs> but we must befriend the Romans. We can coexist with them, but it is impossible with the Christians. I agree with you. Yes, I'm glad yes, to I'm hear it. The soldiers have left the mountain, my lady. I am going to the cave. If you grant me permission, I would like to bury them. Wait a moment. I will come with you. But it will be difficult for you. You will not be able to climb the mountain, my lady. I will wait at the foot of the mountain. Wait for me.
Gentlemen, oh, have faith God. in God. Tell us what happened in there. Praise God and tell us the truth. Galoops, what should we do? We could not save them. How are we supposed to leave them unburied? <laughs> they weren't dead for us to bury them. What does he say? Stay calm. Stay calm until we decide what to do. Let's calm down and then we can decide. <laughs> so how calm are down. you going to bury them? Calm down. <laughs> do you have the courage to walk into the cave again? <laughs> Your Highness. <laughs> to leave here. No one can bury them. What do you mean? Why? I do not know. I only know that it is God's wish for them not to be buried. You mean you do not want to bury them? Yes. Yes, we do want to, but we cannot. I have to see what is going on in there. Oh, come back, my lady. Come back. It is impossible, my lady. If it were possible for us to bury them, you can be certain we would have done it ourselves. Why won't you tell us what happened? What is going on here? 
What do you know that you are hiding from us? We don't know anything either. Nobody knows. All we know is that the cave is the best burial place <laughs> for them and no one is able to enter it. My lady, I beg you. I beg you to go back. I will try my best to tell you what we saw. I beg of you. Oh.